At the beginning of the year, we talked about the various states or phases of matter. We talked about this when we first were introduced to the concepts of matter and energy, and we looked how the text and how chemists separate matter into different categories. We talked about the difference between solids and liquids. We spent a whole chapter talking about gases. We also mentioned plasmas as well. They don't get a lot of talk in the book, but it is the most common phase of matter in the universe. We spent time describing the differences between solids, liquids, and gases. We mentioned the compactness of their molecules, and more importantly, the kinetic energy. How solids have the least kinetic energy, the particles are fairly stationary, they might be vibrating in place, but they're not moving around each other. Liquids, the particles are moving around, they are fluid. And gases, the particles are moving around a great deal. We also looked at this chart. We talked about the difference between shape and volume and compressibility. This should be a familiar concept from our last test saying that gases are compressible but solids and liquids are not. I want to spend a little bit of time in this video focusing in on solids and then the next couple of videos will focus in on liquids. Solids come in two basic flavors. We have crystalline solids and amorphous solids. We have already spoken about crystalline solids when we went to Tabor Academy's Hall of Crystalline Solids. Crystalline solids are regularly shaped. They have this repeating geometric pattern that expands in three dimensions. The word amorphous means that there is no defined shape. So an amorphous solid doesn't have that nice crystalline pattern. The particles of an amorphous solid are just kind of lumped together. Now crystalline solids would fall into things like ionic compounds. And that's when we went and visited the hall of crystalline solids. These ionic compounds form these nice regular three-dimensional crystals that repeat themselves and grow and grow and grow. But there are other crystalline solids out there, things like snowflakes. They're not ionic. Ice, that's not ionic, but those are all crystalline solids. Amorphous solids would be things like wax or glass or even natural rubber. Things that when you kind of heat them up a little bit, they almost become fluid in nature where you can shape them and cool them into different shapes.